Oh. Oh my. Well, I have to repair before I fight again, or I'm going to die. Um... Hmm. Hey, Matty Power. Uh, well, let's go see what we maybe maybe we did enough events to to move maps. In which case, we can explore the next one. Uh, let's go. Oh no, one of four, dude. What? What? I have to do three more combats. I'm gonna sink. Um. Oh, does ramming take a lot of my? Oh, you don't have to fight at every icon. Oh, it's just events. You've been watching a cult vessel in rapt concentration for a while now. As you subtly change course to put distance between you, you lower the spyglass and raise the rum glass. Your true identity has escaped their notice this time. Keep the tailor steady. They have no reason to suspect us at this distance. All right. Another event done. Yeah, I'm going to be super cautious right now. Let's do this one. Your heart skips a beat as you notice coat colors flying high on the horizon. You maintain course and speed after all. No reason to suspect you are at, the, at this distance. As the minute strikes agonizingly on, the cult ship vanishes from sight completely. The crew allows themselves an extra ration, ration of grog. You drop to your knees. It feels like a lightning storm inside your skull and you sense a massive ancient intelligence emerging from it. Scanning the horizon, you see an unnatural disturbance in the water and it's approaching fast. Uh, excuse me? Oh, Jesus! Um. 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 No! 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 Ah! You can't avert your eyes as the royal closes to the distance. Whatever it is will be upon you in mere moments. The Kraken? You're not prepared to best such a beast. Fight it off and flee. When your maneuver bar is full, press the flee button to initiate your desperate retreat. The bar around the button will fill up. Once it's full, your ship will successfully flee the area. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. Now flee before it attacks again. If you don't flee in time, you'll be repeatedly attacked. The bar will only change if someone is manning the ship's speed. I can't yet. Hurry up, bro! Hurry up! Can I shoot at it? No. That is not cool. That is not okay. You wounded the creature and escaped. Somehow you feel in your bones that the Kraken will need time to recuperate before it resumes the hunt. You should not dally. And that didn't even count as an event. God. Uh, where's this last one? There he is. Doom, doom. 
Your current bearing leads to a head-on clash with a vessel flying coat colors. Plot an escape course and step to it. The crew expertly works themselves in the ship hard, putting as much of the ocean between them and you as possible. The maneuver loses too much ground. It's not long before you realize you won't get away. Prepare to fight. Oh, God. Um. Okay. This is trouble. This is not good, dudes. This is not good. Oh my god. We're going in. If I ram them, do I lose hull? I'm assuming I do, right? I'm gonna try to. I'm just gonna try to sink him. Boom! Big hit. Yo, did we just get sniped? What happened to him? Oh, shit, man. That guy just got sniped. Get in there, man. Get in there. I should go up here. Evidence of your victory sinks, but your crew manages to salvage a fine-looking trunk filled with valuable-looking hide-bound books and inks. Great. Whew. Let's go find a repair place. <laughs> oh, do we get it? Oh my god, we got it. Thanks, chat. Burke Black would be proud of me. Oh, that's great. Funny enough, um, my middle name uh, is actually a namesake to a pirate that I'm related to. I actually, I actually have some pirates in my in my uh, my historic family. <laughs> now the danger is past. The crew bombard you with questions. You feel responsible and share what little you know. That creature, the cult that worships it, it's part of what they call the Great Project. You refocus your efforts on reaching port as quickly as humanly possible for their sake and yours. The dull ache in your head recedes slightly and you realize you can't remember a time without it. You feel more like yourself again. Uh, and what, what is my middle name? Guybrush Threepwood. Um, you feel more like yourself again and wonder what it will take to banish the, the ache entirely. The charts you found in the captain cabin show a nearby port. Land, safe from that infernal monster. Okay, great.
Here we go. Ah, oh, feels good, man. Once the ship is docked, your crew are seemingly reluctant to part ways. After all, they would still be prisoners of the cultist or worse without you. You suggest a farewell drink in the nearest tavern. The first round is solemn, each unable to stop dwelling on their own morbid thoughts. Another round? The drinks flow and the tension eases. As another empty tankard is banged on the table, the crew make make the crew make life pledges to you. You manage to secure a cheap room with plenty of beds upstairs. Once you've slept it off, you can all part ways. Your head aches more than it should, and unease creeps through your body. Heavy mead is a different story to ceremonial wine. Another round. Shanties and ballads are butchered. Feet and occasionally bodies shake the tabletops. Just your typical evening in a dockside grog hole. Another round. A game of blades inevitably ends with blood drawn. Money changes hands, but one hand refuses to let go, and so the burly innkeep helps him. Fast and airborne, out the door. Another round! You desperately need to relieve yourself. You stand up sharply and grab the table to stop yourself from falling. Laughter ensues. Another round. The tavern is slowly leaking its patrons. Only the fiercest drinkers remain. Transient friendships are forged in fire and rum. Another round. The tavern is closed, with you and your small, swaying, desperately drunk cadre locked inside. You salute each other before drowning more drinks. Another round. Time, you have no way of telling how much, passes feverishly. Your memories of the last, who knows, is a careening blur. You think and hope, these are the stairs you're stumbling up. Somewhere behind you a dry heave echoes, and you fail to stifle a loud giggle. I may regret this in the morning. <laughs> Tentacles grasping from every angle, no escape. They predict your every movement, attracted unnerve unerringly to you like a compass to polar north. I like the writing in this game. Wrapping slowly around you, they pull you inexorably down, 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 deeper and deeper. You jolt awake, clammy head pounding. The rum, surely. Yet, it feels more familiar than that, more insidious. Something within you cries out, and then so do you. An inco inchoate scream. What does that word even mean? Hold on a second. Inchoate. Just begun and not so fully formed or developed. Rudimentary. Damn. I'll take it. Great word. That's the word of the day. There we go. Word of the day. Okay. Anyway. All right. Uh, your crew stirs in their beds just as the door flies off its hinges. Two shadowed forms crossing the threshold. To arms! Luckily, none of your crew were hurt. The painting your head subsides. The two corpses are Halifron, a nightmarish conjoining of man and sea creature. Superstitious folktales made real. You've seen them before, but the crew clearly never imagined they would. Downstairs, the innkeeper is dead. The first hint of dawn looms, looms on the horizon. Slip early through the streets back to your ship. In your cabin, angry discussion rages about the Halifron while you sit silent in uh, contemplation. You know in your heart of hearts that hiding is pointless. Land offers no haven. The cult will not rest until they have you and all free men under their yoke. But this, uh, this is a problem only solved by shot, steel, and willing hearts. Your best and only chance is to strike a crippling bow to the cult to kill the Kraken. Tell them what you know. The crew stops... The crew stop and listen intently when you speak up. You explain that the Halifron have always been out there, unseen and preying on those who stray too close to the water alone at night. That's what they say about sirens. You tell them of your headaches and how you feel there is some connection between those and the, those creatures, the Kraken, and yourself. Tell them of your intentions to fight. Your plan to go on the offensive to cut off the head of the sea snake is met with a mixture of admiration and amusement. They are not the heroes of old, hunting mythological sea creatures. You cannot force them to join you on what may be a suicide mission, and despite their regret, they leave. It is just you now. You have little time to prepare for your mission. Your first step is to visit the shipwright before recruiting some more crew. Perhaps coin will buy greater loyalty. Ouch. Whoa. The shops are where you can purchase new weapons and upgrades, obtain supplies, repair your ship, or purchase a new one. There's different ships? Your golden supplies can be found here. You can repair your hull by clicking one of the buttons. Your hull can only be repaired at port. On this occasion, we have repaired your hull for free. Oh, thanks, man. Um, 
To buy weapons and upgrades, you drag them onto the correct slot on your ship. Purchase the mortar by left clicking, left click, left click dragging onto the empty slot on your ship. When it's over the correct slot, release the mouse button to buy the weapon. Cool. You can sell weapons and upgrades by dragging the slot on your ship into the sell box. It will get reduced amount for selling things. Hmm. Increasing cannons. Let's increase the number of cannons on one of our batteries. More cannons equals more damage. Hmm. Okay. Upgrades and supplies. Whoa. Upgrades improve your ship. You can buy and sell upgrades in similar ways to weapons by dragging them onto the correct slot. Uh, special shipwide upgrades can be dragged to the correct box on the right of the screen. Okay. You can buy and sell supplies in the highlighted box. Oh, okay. Uh, click the minus button means you will sell supplies and receive the displayed amount of gold. Similarly to, but I don't even know what supplies are for yet. You can improve the performance of some sections by upgrading to a higher level. An increase in helm will charge your maneuver bar at an increased rate. Mass will make you move faster when changing distances. Sick bay and quicker healing. You can browse new ships to purchase by selecting the highlight tab. When you finish it, okay. Oh my god, how cool. Dude. Huh. Wow. Okay. Partial armor plating that reduces hull damage by 10%. Eh. When fired, these embed themselves in the opposite ships. Enemies cannot move further away than close range until the ropes have been cut. Mm. Okay. Oh, there's there were more ships too? Oh! 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 Oh, these get big. That is two mortar spots. They all have four cannon batteries. Although I think some of them get bigger. Yeah, they do. You can see this one can be upgraded four times. This one can only be upgraded three. And this one can be upgraded five times. Wow. Wow. Okay. Metal spikes that are added to the sides of the ship increase the damage caused when ramming also causes damage to enemy ships when they ram you. Okay. Let's get that. I like that. I like metal spikes. Um, what do, what do supplies do? Hmm. Hull armor. Harpoons. Actually, I get some hull armor. Oh, I only have a hundred, though. How much do these cost? 60, 90, and 75. Okay. Mm. You know what? We, we need to save some money to get crew. You make your way to the dockside taverns and notice a few cultists. In the midday bustle, it's easy for you to slip by unnoticed. It's harder, however, to resist slipping your dagger into one of them. Approaching the tavern door, a hand grabs your shoulder. You pivot, primed to fight, only to be faced with your former crew. Captain, these cultists seem to have tarred us with your brush. We might all be safer together now, plus be a shame if we were left out of songs about you. They hand you a small heavy pouch to put towards hiring an extra hand. Awesome! Pickle Rick. Pickle Rick. Pickle Rick. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's get Lolly the Gunner. I like him. And D Max the Repairer. Cool. You leave towards the docks wall, uh, which are swarming with a growing crowd. Dozens of ships flying the cultists and signal are approaching. The curiosity and tension is palpable. Time to leave. Several ships seem to have had a similar idea, attempting to escape the incoming cult vessels. Um, some are slow, some slow down to, in surrender. Others speed past the blockade, while some engage in bloody battle. All right, let's do it. Oh, let's do it live. Okay. Um, navigator there. Let's put Gunner Bro on the mortars, because I, I don't even know what that is yet. 
And we'll just put you over here to get that charged up too. Great. Oh, look at that. Hell yeah. Man, there's a lot of them over there. Boop. Bam! I'm gonna hit him though. Moving in. Thum. Ow! What's with these snippers? Out of range. Come on, man. No, he's like bleeding out or something. Go, go heal. Oh, hell yeah! Oh, hell no! Halifron are aquatic monsters that appear on cult buses. They can dive into the water, swim at great speed, and board you. They're fearsome melee fighters. Oh, good. Um. Damn, dude, this is getting kind of nuts. Um. Bam! There's a big hit. Oh, we almost got him. We almost got him. We're good. And we barely took any hold damage that round, too. Awesome. You got a plushie today, do you know that? You got a plushie today, dude. How crazy is that? <laughs> the fleeing vessel dealt with three more cult ships tacked towards you. You rapidly raised the sails. I'll say. Get out of here, man. Meow. The bar highlight at the bottom of the screen represents how close the cult are to tracking you down. Once all the bars and the cult symbols are fully lit, you will be chased by either a cult ship, the Halifron, or the Kraken itself. When dealing with the vents using the cult symbol, you can decrease the bar by defeating the enemy. If, however, you flee, the cult will be onto you and the bar will increase. Damn. Okay. All right, let's take a look here. Um, so we'll put gunner bro on guns. Let's put my guy on the mortar. Uh, I'll put you on the cannons to start with. We'll put you on the chain shot to start with that. We're not going to, we're not going to have, well, although I do want to be here to start. So maybe we can get someone on the chain shot early. That looks good to start with. Okay. Save crew positions. There we go. Great. Okay. Okay. And actually, you know what? No, let's let's change this. I don't know if the medical guy works better towards the med bay or something, but let's do that. Yeah. Okay. And save. Cool. Great. Okay. Should be good. Oh, what's this? Your lookout has keen eyes, spotting a disturbance in the water long ways a long ways behind you. You look through your spyglass, uh, spyglass and confirm several water trails gaining on you. Something moving that quickly can only be Halifron. Use the mortar and land a charge in their path. The first mortar shell is enough to provide a decent range guide. The second lands right in the middle of the near surface trails. A huge detonation occurs a moment later and you see blood and halifron body parts getting thrown into the air. Fatality. 
You killed them all with a well-placed shot. Cool! That was awesome. Okay. I'll take it. I will take it. That's right, Sarah Tritchmine. Get off me, she! This is my water! You get out of my... This clearly is my picture of the ocean, and you get off my picture. You stand on deck surveying the ship. You feel a sudden unease, in your, and you're about to dismiss it when several Halifron burst up out of the water without warning and clamber onto the ship. So what do we do here? Oh, shit. Um... God, these guys hurt. Oh, they explode too when they die. Ah, oh, what is that? Those horrible beasts are put down a few less in the world, but you know, uh, there are far too many more waiting to ensnare unwary captains. Do they, they leave like piles of acid when they die? Oh, that's so rude. All right, let's go. Damn. All right, so we have one charge of whatever that is. From the looks of it, it is definitely in our great benefit to fully explore these maps. Now, is this gonna go up just as I sail around or do I have to do events? Hmm. Oh, nope, it just went up. Okay, well, that answers that. All right. That answers that. So we got to find an event and kill the cultist to reduce that. Let's do this one. You steer yourself and just about retain your composure for the benefit of the crew as two cult ships passed a ways off the bow in quick succession. The arrangement of the ships will make it escape difficult but not impossible. Your window of opportunity is minuscule. You must make a call. Let's do it. We're going to blitz the closest ship. Okay. Here we go, boys. Let's make it happen. We got spikes, so I'm gonna ram. If we can, when that when that becomes a thing. I wonder if it'd be more advantageous to charge, to have two people on one cannon. Don't think about that. Okay, we're gonna go for this gunner guy first. Try to get him out of the picture. Actually, since we're so close to him, let's get you on cannons. First of all, that. Second of all, that. Boom! Good hit there. Damn, very nice. That's gonna auto fire. These apparently don't auto fire. Shit, another one. Oh, shit, here we go. Here we go. back on there, you back on there, you back on there. Boom! God, that is so satisfying. Uh, yo, we are massacring them with this new setup. This is great. I wonder if it's more advantageous to take the ship. Ah! Ah! Apparently it doesn't matter if we sink with their ship. Uh, there's no time to gather your plunder for the second ship is upon you. Will you stand and declare for double the riches or flee because your life is a more valuable treasure? Hmm, turn and face them. Okay. We're doing it, man. Do, 
do 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 Boop! Uh... Yeah, let's try to keep him off the cannons. That'll be cool. That is a very satisfying sound for that weapon. I like it. <laughs> ah, shoot. Can he handle him on his own? That's how this case. I don't think one melee guy can fight one of those guys. If they can, it'd be close, I think. Yo, how do we do, we're not gonna have enough damage to deal with those healers. They're healing so quickly compared to how much damage we're doing. Maybe we have to have two grape shots. I'm gonna look into that. Hey, what's up, bike man? How are you, dude? Uh, Bikeman says, am I liking it? Uh, yeah, oh, I'm, I've, I've only been playing it for about an hour and 15 minutes, bike, but I'm loving it so far. This is cool. This is really cool. One thing I will say, Bikeman, that it's a little weird I can do this. I find it very weird that I can get all of my people on their boat, then I can cut up all their crew, and then as their ship sinks and my guys go down with it, victory? <laughs> Cool. Um, it didn't look like victory, but it was. <laughs> so that's interesting. But yeah, I mean, it's alpha or early access, so whatever. I'm sure they'll change that. Maybe may, all they have to do is add an animation of the guys swimming back to your ship, and that would be all they'd need. So yeah, I mean, it, it, it's not a big deal. But also, um, other things, bike. Uh, Again, I've only been playing it for an hour, but um, let's see what else. What else? I've really been liking what I what I've been seeing so far. To be honest, I really I really like all the the different ships we can get, the different types of weapons. Um, I like the crew stuff. I like the distance stuff. The different weapons is cool. The different sides is cool. I mean, I'm I'm really liking a lot of parts about this game so far. The only thing is though, it it kind of feels early access, obviously, and um. I, I think that this will be really cool when it's done. Yeah. It feels kind of like a proof of concept right now, which, you know, as an early access, that's kind of what it is. But, uh, yeah. It's cool so far. Now, Bikeman, out of curiosity, bud, how much did you play this game, and are you done with it? Is this the kind of thing where I'm going to get 20 hours out of this, or am I going to play this for another hour or two and be like, okay, I'm going to wait until more development? Like, how does that work? All right, here we go. <laughs> 